if I've said this once, I've said this a thousand times. The number one thing that will get people to stop watching your videos is bad audio. That's why all the filmmakers out there in YouTube land put so much emphasis on using the right microphone for the right situation. Deity Microphones actually put out a great video about that. I'll link it below. But it's not enough to just use the right microphone. As good as a microphone is, there's still going to be some work to do in post. That's where I come in. Now, I know I've done a couple videos like this before. I'll link them below as well. Man, there's gonna be a lot of videos down there. But the longer I do this, the more I learn, and the more I learn, the more my techniques change. So today, I'm going to show you the five-step process that I use to get professional sounding dialogue in the videos that I edit. Let's get started. All right, we are in the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve, and I've got a clip lined up here ready to go. I've got the talking bit, and then I've also got a clip with just some room tone because I had a, a fan going on in the background, and I want to use noise reduction to get rid of that, so I made sure to keep a clip of just noise. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a bit. But the first thing that we need to do right now, actually, the first thing we need to do is just play the original audio so you can see what we're working with. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. And that's not too bad, actually. If it wasn't for that fan, we could probably get away with just normalizing the audio and leaving it as is, but I think we can bring a little bit more life to it, make it sound a little bit sweeter. Let's first start off with normalization. We'll go ahead and right click on these clips and go to normalize audio levels. I typically stick with true peak minus two dB and we'll do relative because all of these clips are from the same audio source with the same person talking. So that kind of brings me back to another point when you're organizing your audio, organize accordingly. So all of the clips that are from the same audio source, the same person talking, put them on the same track or the same two tracks. And then when you switch sources or switch people talking, then add another couple tracks and use those and so on and so forth. Right now, I've got one audio source, one person talking. So we're just doing relative normalization. We'll go ahead and normalize that. And let's go ahead and play that back. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos. So it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio. It can be used with lavalier mics. It doesn't really matter. This technique will apply. And like I said, that sounds good. We could probably get away with that if it wasn't for that fan. So let's get rid of that fan noise a little bit. We're not gonna completely get rid of it. It's once you do that, once you start trying to eliminate all the noise, your voice can start to sound a little bit weird and a little bit warbly. So what we're trying to do is just reduce it as much as possible without making the audio suffer, without making that dialogue suffer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our effects library and we're gonna grab noise reduction and we're gonna put this on the entire track. And there's a couple things that you can do with the noise reduction tool. There's a bunch of manual settings. I'm not gonna go through those because typically what I do is I either use auto speech mode or I use learn. Now let's hope for the best and hope that auto speech mode works. Let's go ahead and set that and let's play that back. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. So auto speech mode does get rid of a lot of that noise, but you could hear it, my dialogue just sounded horrible. So let's go ahead and go over to manual, and we're gonna do learn, and this is the whole reason why I have that clip of just room tone, because what we wanna do is have noise reduction, learn what noise we're trying to reduce and hopefully reduce it without sacrificing the quality of our dialogue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on loop here so we can just listen to the whole thing. 
This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. Okay, I can accept that. I think that's about as good as we're gonna go. So now that we're done with that, we can get rid and close that out. We can get rid of just our room tone and now we're just left with our dialogue here. And the next thing that we're gonna do is a little bit of EQ work. So let's go ahead over to our mixer and we're gonna click on EQ. If you don't know how to get to your EQ or if you don't see your EQ in the mixer, I just did a video about 10 Fairlight tools that you should be using and that video will show you how to do it. I'll make sure that's linked below. Let's go ahead and work with our EQ here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on band one and I'm gonna bring the frequency up to about 100 Hertz or so. And really what we should be doing is listening to this as we do it and bringing our high pass filter, which is what this is. It's letting our higher frequencies pass by while cutting the lower frequencies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to our dialogue and we're just gonna play around with that frequency right up to the point where it starts to affect the quality of the dialogue. And then we're gonna back it off just a little bit. And so that way it's cutting off all of the frequencies that lie below our dialogue. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio. It can be used with lavalier mics. It doesn't really matter. This technique will apply. All right, that's sounding pretty good there. Next thing we're gonna go to is the opposite end and we're going to turn on our low pass filter and we're gonna keep it right about where it is because right around that 13K hertz, you're, you're cutting off all of the frequencies that live above the normal frequencies of the human voice. So once we cut that, we shouldn't be hearing anything else. And that might actually help with the remainder of that noise. Let's go ahead and take a listen. My video, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio. It can be used with lavalier mics. It doesn't really matter. This technique will apply. All right, that sounds good right there. So right now we're gonna actually start in the middle of our frequencies and we're gonna start with bands three and four. And what we're gonna do is we are going to make sure our Q factor on band three and band four are as narrow as they can go. So up to 10.3. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna listen for some frequencies that are just unpleasing to the ear. You'll, you'll hear what I mean in a minute, but we're gonna listen for those frequencies and then we're gonna reduce them by about minus five and then we're gonna widen those frequencies again in a little bit. So let's go ahead and crank up our gain so we can really, really hear our frequencies. Make sure those are in the mid highs. And let's go ahead and play our dialogue. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be... Okay, did you hear that whistling noise there? That's the frequencies that I'm talking about. Every once in a while when you're scrubbing through those mid-high frequencies or sometimes even the mid-lows, you'll hear sounds like that and those are frequencies that we want to get rid of. This is gonna help with room echo and reverb and it's just going to make the voice a little bit more pleasing to the ear. So let's go ahead and drop that down to minus five or so and widen that back to let's say about three then we're going to do the same thing with band four bring up the gain this is the audio setup that i use for all of my videos so it's a good example of what i do when i edit my own audio but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio it can be used with lavalier mics it doesn't really matter yeah, let's get rid of that there. So let's go ahead and bring that back down to minus five or so. And widen that same thing to a Q factor of three. 
And the next thing I want to do is sweeten the audio with a high shelf and also give it a little bit of a bass boost. Let's actually start with the bass boost. So we're going to come down to band two. We're going to change this to a regular band. Let's go ahead and put this up in the mid lows. We're going to boost the gain here by about three or so. And we're going to start sweeping the frequencies until we like what we hear. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio. Alright, that sounds good, and the next thing we're going to do is just raise our high shelf, we're going to keep it around that 7k18 mark. We're going to raise that by about three. But this same technique can be used for outdoor audio. It can be used with lavalier mics. It doesn't really matter. This technique will apply. All right, now I'm going to play it through. I'm going to turn that EQ on and off so you can hear the difference. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. So you can see, just by doing that EQ, we have really shaped our voice, and we've really shaped the way that we want things to sound. It sounds so much better just by getting rid of a couple of those frequencies or at least lowering them, those frequencies that we really don't wanna hear and then bringing some more life into the high end and the low end of our voice. This sounds really, really good. All right, next thing we're gonna do is add a compressor. So let's go ahead and get out of our EQ. We're gonna double click on dynamics in our mixer. That's gonna bring up our expander, our gate, our compressor, and our limiter. We're only gonna be working with the compressor right now. And let me explain real quick what a compressor does. Basically what it does is it lowers your gain. It brings down those highest volumes and then when you counteract it by bringing up your makeup gain to make it louder, it'll actually raise your low end, but it'll keep that same distance between your lowest volume and your highest volume. And so it, I know that sounds confusing. I'll show you exactly what I mean. We've got some controls here. We've got threshold, ratio, attack, hold, and release. The things that we really wanna worry about here are threshold, and ratio. Threshold is basically how loud is your video gotta be before that compressor kicks in and starts knocking down your gain. And then ratio just tells DaVinci Resolve by how much are we cutting the gain. So right now we're at a ratio of two to one, which is what's best actually for vlogs, talking head videos, narrative short films, stuff like that. When you get into voiceover world, you wanna probably bring that ratio up to four to one or something like that. Attack, hold, and release are basically exactly where I want them. That just tells you how fast the compressor kicks in and how long it holds it before it releases and then how fast does it release. But this is basically perfect for dialogue right here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our compressor on by hitting compressor. And the best way to use a compressor is to lower this threshold until your gain reduction is about minus three, which is about a third of the way between zero and minus 10 here. So once that hits minus three, that's where we're gonna stop and then we're gonna use our makeup gain and bring it up by three to get us back to our original volume level. So let's go ahead and play this through. This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. That's actually right, about 17 and a half, that's pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our makeup gain up to three. And let's go ahead and play that back and I'll toggle it between off and on so you can hear what we've done so far. Start with it off.
This is the audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. So now we're really starting to get into the ballpark of this is this is how I want it to sound. There's only one more thing that I need to correct and that's the simulants, the S sounds. They're a little bit harsh, so we're gonna use a de-esser real quick to get rid of that. And that can be found in our effects library. Let's go ahead and grab a de-esser, bring it on to our audio track. And this actually just has a preset for male S. And let's go ahead, home. This Play is the that. audio setup that I use for all of my videos, so it's a good example of what I do when I edit my own audio, but this same technique can be used for outdoor audio, it can be used with lavalier mics, it doesn't really matter, this technique will apply. That sounds pretty good. Now, what you may find is that after you apply the de-esser that your, your volume may have gone down a little bit and you can just use the slider and the mixer to fix that and get it to the level that you want. But that's, that's pretty much it. Now, once your dialogue is done, it's time to move on to the mixing of the rest of your audio and then making sure that your video is at the right loudness for whatever platform your video is going to live on. To learn more about that, click here and for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.